what, what all do you need to bring to create content on a work trip? What I brought was a little excessive. It doesn't matter where I go or when I fly, I always end up at the gate at the end of the terminal. What's up, y'all? So I recently came on this trip to Tempe, Arizona for work. And part of my job was to document some of the things. So we're here um, for our client to get content and have a strategy meeting and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, but I really wanted to show you guys what I brought with me to make some of this content. Today's the last day. Some of the stuff I used, some of it I didn't, but I always wanted to stay prepared. And so first up, Sony a7 III, 24 millimeter, Tamron F28. These are sunglasses. This is bright and sunny in Arizona most of the time. Then Sony A6500 with a Tamron 17 to 70 F28. Tamron 70 to 180 F28. SD cards. Gotta carry SD cards. Uh, memory is important. I brought a cell phone mount holder, Joby, to go to work with the Gorillapod and the tripod that I have. My A6500 does have a cage on it and I did bring a top handle. This is a small rig top handle in case I wanted to do some style like that. I also brought the Sony 50 millimeter 1.8. Batteries for the Sony A6500 and ZVE10, which I'm filming on right now. Batteries for the A7 III. And then there's a lot of other batteries in here. And then just a portable charging bank. Can't go home with it. Can't leave without that. We have a small articulating arm in case I needed to mount anything to my A6500. We have the T, the phone cable for a microphone in case we do film things with the phone and we want better audio quality. And then rocket blower. Got to keep those sensors clean. So I actually packed a lot of this stuff into two bags. So half of my carry-on luggage was actually also camera gear. And I'm about to get into that. Pack this all back down. And that's camera bag one. And if we move over to my carry-on, additional wireless microphones I'm currently using the Rode Wireless Me, but additional wireless microphones in case we wanted to do something that was multiple people or just a backup microphone system that's not uh, the wireless one that I'm currently using. Wired headphones, because in the event that we do do something with multiple people, I would love to have headphones to monitor audio to make sure it's not peaking and make sure it's coming through right, especially if we use those wireless microphones. You'll notice that I am lit fairly well, and that is thanks to the Ulanzi 40 watt light that I keep preaching about. It's all, it's next to the camera and I'm like at least 10 feet away. Um, and as you can see, I'm lit fairly well. So it works and it's great. And then the last thing is really the Zhiyun Weeble 2S. I believe that's what this was called or the Zhiyun Weeble S, a gimbal. I have mixed feelings about bringing a gimbal. I know that, you know, cameras are great and Modern cameras have great steady shot or the capability to stabilize, but whenever I'm on a professional job, especially for video, I love to bring a gimbal just in case the run and gun stuff is not good enough. And I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Brought the gimbal and that's actually the thing that takes up a lot of the space in this suitcase. Um, so I'm gonna try to pack that back down. Uh, other additional things, like I said, I'm shooting on the Sony ZV-E10. I have a Joby Gorilla Pod. My light uh, is on a Joby travel tripod. And then I also have a Rode Wireless, not Rode Wireless, a Rode Video Mic 2, or Mic Go. The Rode Video Mic Go. Those are kind of the essentials that I bring on any trip. And most of the footage that you'll see in this video was shot with the Sony ZV-E10. That is my main video body. I brought the A6500 as kind of a backup and it has the cage on it in case I need to mount stuff or do something like that. That's what I brought with me to Arizona for this trip. 
And uh, I hope this helps anybody who's thinking about like, what, what all do you need to bring to create content on a work trip? What I brought was a little excessive. I like my Sony a7 III for photos. I love it for video too, but I dedicated it this trip for a photo camera. And then I have the APS-C cameras for video because they perform just well and the content that we're making is primarily for social. So that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace.